Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm in my shop today. And today I'm just gonna be making the cabinets for the house that we're doing. The, uh, the box cabinets for the upper cabinets and then the lower cabinet. So here I am making all the cuts. I made me a list of everything that I need to cut. Once I'm done with that, then I can actually start doing all the cuts for my side panels, bottom panels, back panels, toe kick, you name it. Pretty much everything on the list that it takes to make a cabinet, the box. So that's what I did. And then later I'm gonna do the front. Well, as you can see, I'm making, setting up my table to do all the pocket holes. A bunch of pocket holes we got to do. So I'm just going to show you guys a few that I'm going to do and you guys going to see how well this little machine works. It's made by Craig and it's a very handy tool to have just so it makes, you, makes your job a whole lot easier to make these uh, beautiful pocket holes. And as you guys know, when you're making cabinets, pocket holes, it's a very key um, part of the building the cabinet. That's what's going to screw on the part A to part B, you know, wood to wood. You can use glue on all the joints if you want. But these pocket holes are actually pretty strong and, and in most of the cases you don't need any glue. But it's always good to put a little, little glue if you want to.
here I am doing the final sanding and the next step to do is to take everything to the house, make sure everything fits well and install them. We are done with the closet as far as all the sheetrock and drywall. So this is going to be their new pantry closet and we're going to install some shelves later on the next video. Also, you can see here where we sheetrock, we are sheetrocking and this wall right here, that's where the termite damage was. So it turned out to be there, everything was good, no big deal. So we just removed that stud and we added a uh, new blocking for the shelving that we're going to have in there. It's actually going to be some floating shelves in there and also that will be on the next video coming up. So the sheetrock is hung, tape and float is being completed and the next phase is installing the cabinets. The vent hood, the upper box cabinets, the two cabinets on the right side. Here we have installed them already and all that red stuff you see there is called lacquer putty. That's just made to fill little gaps, imperfections in the wood. It's basically a wood filler but this one dries pretty fast. Hey guys, thank you a bunch for watching our channel and sticking around to the end of this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate it when you guys do that. I'm gonna have a, just a sneak peek of the next video to come, which is gonna be painting the cabinets, installing the countertop, tile, floating shelves, pretty much all the final build of this kitchen this beautiful kitchen that is going to be done here pretty soon on the next video so make sure you guys like and subscribe so you can see the next video thank you all for watching